Assay Base Sheet. Assay Base is used as an interply waterproofing layer in 15 and 20 year systems. Installation temperatures must be 40 degrees and rising for 48 consecutive hours. SA Base Sheet is a fiberglass reinforced modified bitumen base sheet with a heat and pressure sensitive adhesive back. The top surface is a smooth polyolefin film with printed lap lines. The dimension shown on the lines is the dimension of the line away from the edge of the sheet. SA Base can be left exposed for up to 90 days. Beginning at the low point of the roof, snap a line on the roof where you want the edge of the first sheet. We are measuring 36 inches away from the roof edge in this demonstration. This will allow the SA base sheet to extend down the face of the nailer approximately 3 inches. Roll out the first course of SA base by aligning the edge of the roll along the reference line. Turn the SA base sheet up any wall or curb a minimum of 3 inches or down any roof edge to the bottom of the nailer. Apply pressure to the top side of the roll to keep it in place and then fold over the bottom half of the sheet. Starting at one end, pull the release liner off of the sheet at a 90 degree angle. Use continual motion when pulling the release liner. If you stop, give a couple short tugs to begin peeling again. This will help to prevent the release liner from tearing. Carefully flop the bottom half of the sheet back down over the substrate and apply pressure to adhere the sheet. When done with the downslope side, repeat the process on the other side. Grab the corner of the remaining release liner and pull it at a 45 degree angle from the sheet. Align successive rolls of SA base sheet with a minimum 3 inch lap. Use the line marked 3 inches as a reference when rolling out the roll. Remove the release liners as before and continue until the roof area is covered. End laps must be a minimum of 6 inches wide and staggered a minimum of 36 inches. Be sure to trim the corner of the top sheet at all end laps to ease the transition. Trim the upper corner at the end lap at a 45 degree angle. Roll each layer of SA base sheet with a minimum 75 pound roller to activate the adhesive and ensure a proper bond. Start in the center of each sheet and roll out to remove any air and to prevent wrinkles. Roll all seams with a hand roller to ensure a proper bond. If installing two layers of SA base sheet, start the second layer with a half sheet at the low point of the roof to ensure all side laps are staggered between immediate layers. Do not turn the second SA base sheet down the face at a roof edge. It should be turned up at a wall or curb. Install the second layer in the same manner as the first. Things to remember, SA base sheets can be left exposed for up to 90 days. All side laps must be a minimum of 3 inches wide. All end laps must be a minimum of 6 inches wide and staggered a minimum of 36 inches. Trim the corners of the top sheet at all end laps to ease the transition. You can torch or mop to SA base sheets.